My name is Adam Wolf. I'm a detective of the supernatural. Two years ago, my sister Allie went missing. I've been looking for her ever since. Each case I solve brings me one step closer to finding her. This is my story. For a couple weeks now, the city's been plagued by strange fire breakouts. The story's all over the news. But what's missing from the news is that there are people disappearing with each new fire breakout. SFPD is keeping this info under wraps. An old buddy of mine from the force, Marv, asked me to help him out with this case. I managed to identify one of the perps causing the fires. I ended up chasing this pyromaniac through the streets. I chased the killer into a dead-end street. He had nowhere to go. me by the skin of my teeth. No more pulling punches. There he goes. Yuck. Which way did he go? went through one of those three tunnels. Which one? There he is.
tight, close spaces. burning monster fell to the ground, I had this gut feeling I just couldn't shake. This guy was a mere pawn. He was behind the fires, all right. But who was behind him? What the hell? This is not over. All will burn. What the hell was that thing? What's that? It's a cot. I should call Marv and fill him in. Adam, what's the status? I got him. Whatever that guy was, he was no ordinary human. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. Supernatural is your thing. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Go home, Adam. You did good. Marv was pleased. Me? Couldn't shake off the feeling that the fat has hit the fire. There was nothing more I could do that night. <sighs> it was time to go home. Sleep would bring me little comfort. I knew the nightmare that was waiting for me all too well. Same as every night. And there she was. My sister Allie. And her disappearance, which keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. She always slips through my fingers. Something wasn't right. Things were not where I left him last night. I had a visitor while I was asleep. A visitor who left clues. seems out of the ordinary here. But I'm sure the thief tampered with it. Well, my visitor left a package for me, hidden behind the drawer. The moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew this will change everything. 
a watch. Why would someone leave me a watch? Hmm. Time is not set. That's a strange symbol. There's some marks on the paper. What in the name of... I saw... I saw the past. 320. The visitor. He left something on my board. Allie, my sister. This is where I kept track of her case. All these years and still not any closer to finding her. the last picture of Allie and me, before she disappeared. A photo of her apartment, the way I found it after she went missing. What's this? I know this file like the back of my hand and this wasn't here before. Someone left a message for me. Zakat. That name rings a bell. Zakat Gallery. First that pyromaniac, now this. This place was definitely worth paying a visit. But, first things first. The visitor had to have left fingerprints on the paper.
there's Allie's business card. I remember how proud she was when her company made her those. My old cell phone, still in working condition. This thing is in a metronome. A musician's best friend. Helps me stay on beat. the straw man statuette when we were kids. I still keep it with me. This photo of Ali is a few years old. She did this veil is a memento from my first case as a detective of the supernatural. Haunted house stuff. <laughs> Never gets old. Gold Medal of Valor. It was the high point of my police career. This looking glass was a present from Marv when I was made detective. I gave up smoking years ago, but I still keep this lighter. You never know when you're gonna need Wow, it's been ages since I played any games. This one was a blast. I'm holding on to this CD. Oh, my comic book collection used to be huge. But hey, my old police badge. This actually might still open some doors. <laughs>